Our next section is on multiplying polynomials. There are multiple ways to multiply polynomials. I'm going to show you different methods that you can use to multiply them together. So to multiply polynomials, binomial times a trinomial. I'm going to show you three different methods to multiply this out. First one is using distribution. So what I'm going to do is I want to multiply 2x two x everything. Then we're going to multiply three. Let's do the first part, 2x times x squared, write it all out, plus 2x, negative 2x, plus x, and I'm going to have a plus 3 times x squared, e. Negative 2x, 3, I'm going to do the multiplications and then combine like terms. 2x times x squared is 2x cubed, minus 4, x times x is x, 3x, 3x squared, Minus 6x. Then we have to combine like terms. And we'll start out with the cubes. There's only a cube term. x squared, I have negative 4 plus 3. For the x's, I have 8 minus 6. Move them. I have the plus. So that is the first method. It's called distribution. That is the messiest. The next method I'm going to use is called the box method. What I'm going to do is I have two terms by terms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end up making by a rectangle. For the two, all right, I'm going to write a 2x. Top, I'm going to write an x squared minus 2x plus 4. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to fill in the boxes with the resulting multiplications. The 2x times the x squared is 2. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 2x times negative 2x is negative 4x squared. 3 times negative 2x is negative 6. 2x times 4 is 8x. 3 times 4 is 12. Notice I did the exact same six multiplications that I did previously. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add long diagonals. We're going to come up with our answer. So I have the 2x cubed. 3x squared minus 4x squared is negative x. 8x minus 6x is. And the last method that I can use for multiplying polynomials is just setting it up like regular multiple. If I had this problem, 34. The way I would write it to multiply is I write 2, 3, 4, put it 12. And then I'd end up going 2 times 4, 2 times 3, 2 times 2, 1 times 4, 1 times 
they end up doing the exact same. I'm going to write it out like this. X squared. 2x. Underneath it, I'm going to write the 2x. Now I'm going to do the multiplication. Three times four is three times negative two x. Three times squared x. Remember, when you do this multiplication here on the thirty-four, eight, the six, and then here. What I want to do here, remember how we have the, the zero placeholder? I'm going to do the same. 2x times 4 is x. That gets the x's enough. The term. 2x times negative 2x is negative 4 squared. 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. Add vertically. Cubed. X. 2x plus 12. Those are the three methods that you have to multiply polynomials. To do one more example. Um, the method that I use is anytime it's more than a 2 by 2, 2 by 3, 3 by 3. Anything more than a two by two, I use. Um, if it is a two by two, I typically use distribution um, to a two by two, and I'm going to give you a shortcut for doing two by twos. Next one, I'm going to do x plus 4, x, y, minus 5. Okay. So I use distribution. So first thing is I multiply is this one right here. Okay, that is x and 3x, y. Label that as an F because it's the first term times the first. Then I am going to multiply the X times a negative five. That's going to be X times a negative five. I'm going to label that as an O because I'm multiplying the outer terms together. Then I would multiply the 4 times the 3xy. I'm going to label that as an i for inner. Then the last two pieces that I multiply together is the 4 times the negative 5. I'm going to label that with an L. So the four letters that I ended up using were F, O, I, and L. First, outer, inner, last. Now let's do the multiplications. The three is going to be here. X times X is X squared. Minus 5X. 4 times 3 is 12 xy is 20. So anytime you have a binomial times a binomial, and just remember it's first, after, and last. Do one more of those for So anytime you see a binomial times a binomial, you're going to give yourself four blanks. 
first first times first six x squared was the three x outer three x times negative y going to be negative three x inner four y times two x is eight x y a sign there. Then last, 4y times negative y would be negative 4y squared. Notice here in the middle, these two terms are alike. Find them. 8 of something minus 3 of something is 5 of that something. That was 6 squared. y minus 4. That helps.